Welcome back to Ralph's house. Still working on this same little tree. Let's see if we can clean this up a little bit, cast some shadows, highlights. Let's see if we can't start whittling this thing down. Y'all come along. Let's see what we got here. I cleaned my palette up because it was getting kind of messy. This palette looks familiar. Your mama's probably got one. You know, mine serves chocolate chip cookies on it all the time. You wonder where it's at. <laughs> but we have fun, we paint. Now I tell you what, we need to get some of these colors back top of that tree. Look at all those pretty reds and I'm gonna grab some of this uh, burnt sienna here, some of this lemon yellow, mix the two together, kind of brighten that a little bit. Even more yellow than that. Give me some yellow in there. There we go. So we put all those good darks in, now we got something to paint on. Let's mix those two together right there and see if this don't kind of give us a color that we want up in there. It'll be top of that tree. Let's see, I like those leaf shapes, see. Load my brush up, use the edge of that brush, just say cut them in just like that. That's kind of the way that those limbs grow up there. Catch some over here, look at that. Let's kind of move it back, then go the other direction with it. We're just trying to create that shape. There's one more out there. Get some of those shapes in there, some of these colors. Got one going off this direction. There's another limb to head off that way. Got a lot of dark in this area. Let's throw some light in there. And just carry that back over there. I want it to go over the rainbow. So out here I'm gonna see it pretty good. It's gonna kind of drop back over. See over the rainbow. Got one dropping out here. I know that old barrel that we're putting that tree in. So we're just trying to create some shapes that we like. Some of these up here, they're just kind of all over the place up here on top of that tree, but we're just putting in the leaves now. You got all these little bright leaves. There's a good dark over here. Let's catch a light. Lean back a little, right? Sorry, I got in the way there. Is that right? When you paint that side of the picture, yeah. lean back a little. See, everybody's crazy. They got to tell you how to do it. So, yeah, so that's part of it. <laughs> we want to see. I know. So we keep him behind the camera. One of these days, we might get a picture of Michael. <laughs> we, we keep him here. We always did. Not that we were ashamed of him or nothing. But... There we go. I kind of like that color a little bit. Got a little bit down here at the base. Where, that, where these leaves are heading out that limb right there. Catch some of that down there. So it's just a different color than everything else around it. That's what'll make it really stand out there. Got one going up that tree. Kind of sticking up there like that. Just kind of play with your strokes. Try different edges. Try the edges of your brush, not necessarily just the flats. Try to see the different the same brush. How many different strokes can you get out of it? Good leaf color from on the ground. Now we're going to do kind of individual leaves on top of these leaves. So as leaves are on the trees, let's put some of them on the ground. Just, they just kind of a stroke, not a mass, just strokes out here. Just where there'd be some leaves laying on the ground. Some of those colors that weren't all the way dry down under there, I picked some of it up and they'll kind of blend together. So now we've got some individual strokes out there. Just lay some out there. There'll be some over here on this side, back here on the back, by the by the by the back. On the back by the back. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Boys lightning. <laughs> yes, they were proud of him in school though. They thought he was gonna be a genius one day, a legend in his own time. Or mind or something like that. A little more yellow to that. So I'm putting my yellow in there, that lemon yellow, grab that in there. Grab just a little bit more of that. There, now we got a little bit brighter. Put some of those leaves on the ground down there. Just different strokes, different ways. And see, the leaves, are, you don't want to make them really look like a leaf yet. We'll, go, we'll take a few of the leaves and make it look like leaves. But right now, we're just trying to get something on the ground. For all these, if you look around out there, there's all kinds of leaves all over the place out here. Let's catch some out there. Just get it out there. A few of them back there in the background. Where the leaves will come off that tree. I'm gonna grab a little yellow ochre there. Pull it down here and that. So 
can't get a good leaf color down here on the ground. There we go. So just about laying it out there. Don't lose all my darks. So try to leave some of those good darks down under those leaves. Don't lose them all. That's it. You do it in leaves. You pile a leaf on top of leaf on top of leaves. You get four and five, and you can kind of shape them like leaves a little bit. Turn that brush a little bit. Make them look a little bit more like leaves. Let's see. This is. That's what this picture is all about. Was this tree in the foreground? I like that color for them leaves. Let's get some up here in the tree. That's what this painting's all about. Shapes and the colors of this tree. All the just beautiful yellows and it's just it's got them. So I couldn't get those yellows without having those darks behind it. So you want that shark? You put it put it next to a dark color. Got some light colors back in here, right? Back in here at the base, kind of coming up the tree a little bit. There's a good dark area there. Let's get some lights in there. Trail that over. That's a neat looking little old tree. I want to get some red in there. I'm going to take some of this uh, cadmium red, put some of that yellow ochre into it. See if I can get a little more of a red color into it. There's a, there's a good bit of that up there in that tree. Let's see what we got there. Yeah, that gives me a if I can get it to do what I want to do. More individual strokes now. I don't want to lose my dark. Here we go. And most of those reds are right here towards the front, towards us. We can really see those reds. And they're probably on the back side of the tree too, but we can't see them back there. And we're just playing. They just tell me all the time how, what I can do and what I can't. Get some colors in here on this side of the tree. Down here at the base, we got some of that color. Went up that leaf there, right there. Guys, isn't it fun? This is what painting's all about. Put color to color. Don't be afraid to do it. If you got some there, you're going to have a few of them laying on the ground. It's fall. The leaves are falling off the trees. Put some of that, carry some of that color down there. Just throw these leaves in there. Individual leaves now, see. Get a little bit of them over here. Just don't be afraid to put it in there. That's I love to paint. Love to paint. There ain't nothing like this. I tell you what, you gotta have it in your heart, but if you do, ain't nothing better. I tell you what, y'all come.